Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, Matt Eisenman, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. How are you? Uh, I am doing very well. I appreciate you having me on. Well, as I broadcast across America on our FM platform, we are going to get to talk. You know, a lot of people are going to get to hear you. I'm so impressed with you. Your resume is so big, and I can hardly get it in in our time. Uh, but people say I look good on paper, Valder. <laughs> Well, that's what counts sometimes. <laughs> but you're here to talk about live rescue yes. as you follow first responders across the country and put their lives on the line, and you're the new host. Yeah, it's it's an unbelievable opportunity. So if you've seen Live PD, it's similar to that. I'm, I'm going to be hosting Live Rescue. So every Monday night at 9 p.m., we're live from New York City where we have 30 cameras in seven cities across the U.S. following firefighters, paramedics, and EMTs as they go about their daily job. And their daily job just happens to be helping people very often in life or death situations. And it, it's unreal. What, what's so great about this, Valder, is we're watching in studio. We're seeing it at the same time people at home are. This is unfolding before our eyes. We have no idea what's going to happen until we go live. And I think that's what's so compelling about this show is you're seeing this happen at the same time we are. So we don't know the outcome. It's, it's, it's so dramatic to watch these first responders go in and realize we're discovering the situation at the same time they are. Okay, are we going to get a different take from you? Because we've seen these kind of shows before, but I understand you're a licensed physician. Well, so. that, that, that is, I did go to medical school here in New York City uh, and got my MD. I was training when I decided to make a right turn into entertainment. So I'm thrilled to finally get to be able to put that MD to use. Um, and I, I will tell you, though, it's so different being in a studio commenting on things because I remember when I was in the emergency room, the adrenaline of someone coming in and trying to make those life or death decisions. So I will be the first to say it's very easy to talk about it from a studio. What these first responders are doing in these seven cities across America, it's, it's, I, I think they really are everyday heroes who just happen to walk among us. Also, you're an Emmy Award winner. So you're giving us, a, that, and I keep dwelling on the perspective, you know, I think you're so perfectly matched for this show, someone who's actually qualified to be the host. Well, thank you, Valder. I, I think what's nice is uh, my whole career in entertainment has really been spent telling stories, and I think that's what we're doing here on Live Rescue. When you watch these when you watch uh, these interactions, you realize every single one is a story, a story of how this person got there, a story of the first responder and, and their lives and their day. And then what's amazing is how it unfolds after. Because when they drop them off at the hospital, you realize these first responders, they go back to work. Their lives continue. And we want to make sure we give you the update of what happened to those people. So uh, at its heart, what this is, is storytelling. It's real-time storytelling with incredibly high stakes. Has the critical situations in our nation gotten more heightened, or we're just seeing more of those, Matt? I, I you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know statistically where it lies. I mean, obviously, a show like this, the technology didn't exist even a few years ago to have 30 cameras around the U.S. in seven different cities going live. Um, so technologically, this show's pretty, uh, pretty amazing to be able to do it. Uh, so, uh, yes, you know, in terms of the ability to show you this happening real time, I don't think it existed, certainly not on the scope. Um, but, you know, what's great is we're seeing our ability to handle these situations get better. The training is better. The technology is, is better. But ultimately, it comes down to the people because none of that matters if you don't have the right people handling it. And that's what's so great about this show is, is – Live Rescue is about these first responders and the people that they're trying to help. I know. Is there any kind of accolades to give these people? Because I looked at just the, the trailer of it. I'm going like, my God, they've saved so many lives already. Listen, you know, we often talk about the hero of the week, the rescue of the week. That, that doesn't, you know, anything we say is, 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 is light years away from what they deserve. I, I think the praise they get is probably in, in, from the people they help later or probably just coming home to their family and going, I, I know that everyone is safer because of what I do. I think those first responders have to feel that way. I know that's how I feel, that God forbid you're ever in a situation where you're in a car accident or, or in a burning house to know that there are people out there who, as their job, have chosen to risk their lives to help us in our worst times. I think that's 
it, it gives you hope to know that there are people out there like this keeping us all safe. Well, Matt, you told me at the beginning of my conversation with you that you're a licensed physician who, who took a turn, but you didn't tell me your big accolades. You're the apprentice winner. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, you know, forget, forget MD or Emmy winner. The, the new celebrity apprentice. I was with Arnold Schwarzenegger, I, and I was the last celebrity apprentice. The show is no longer with us. But uh, it was an awesome opportunity to get to do that. And what was really great is I got to raise a million dollars for my charity, the, Arthri the Arthritis Foundation, which is Green Bracelet. I have rheumatoid arthritis. And for me, that's one of the things is I know I've been very lucky in life. It's nice to be able to help give back. And I think that's kind of what Live Rescue is, is trying to give back to these first responders, to tell their stories, to raise awareness of, of what they do, and to really just to celebrate them and say, hey, you guys do deserve these accolades. You might not get the Emmy trophies that you deserve, uh, you might not be the new celebrity apprentice, but you are heroes in our book. <laughs> well, I think you're in the right field. I can't wait to see live rescuers. When you want us to watch us and where? Every Monday night uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern time on A&E. And join the conversation on Twitter, AE, at AETV. We're always, there's a lot of activity between uh, live, ple uh, between live PD and, and live rescue. So check it out. And I think you're perfect for the job, Matt. I'll be watching. Thanks, Thank you Valder. for joining me on the Valder Beebe Show. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder Beebe Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <laughs>